Ryan Dunsing and the Twins enjoying a seven-game edge in the Central. They can extend it to eight with another win over the White Sox. Bottom two, Dunsing working with the sacks packed, but he grounds Omar Vizquel to third. The Twins come home for the fourth. This ball game is scoreless early. Let's go top four. Gavin Floyd starting for Chicago, and he will start the inning-ending DP. Call it one, four, three. Still no runs on the board. Let's go to the bottom half of the fourth. Again, Vizquel, and here's the Twins turning two. 5-4-3, we are at U.S. Cellular, it's scoreless, someone needs to dial up the O, Joe Maurer, not a bad option. A high drive to deep right field, back and gone, a three-run home run for Joe Maurer. And Joe Maurer hitting it into the bullpen of the Twins for a big three-run home run. Meanwhile now, four zip in the six, J.J. Dynamite, Hardy with a ribby it bounces off the bag at third a run scores so it's five zip twins that'd do it for floyd but he leaves two men on and one of them is coming on home it's chopped off the plate up the line it's going to roll back out of the grass valencia scores and span dribbles an infield hit it hit the plate and with the spin off the plate it actually landed on the dirt and rolled up onto the grass Bad break in the field for Ozzy Guillen and the Sox. The run charged to Floyd. He allows six on nine hits. Dunsing would fare better. After allowing a two-run shot to Carlos Quinton in the six, he's working with a 6-2 lead, and he grounds Vizquel into yet another DP. Dunsing goes six, allows two earned runs on nine hits. He strikes out four, and in the seventh, Jim Tomey makes sure it will all stand up. A two-run single to put Minnesota in front, a two. Nine-three is your final. It's win number nine for Dunsing. Tommy and Maurer combined for five hits and five ribbies. The Twins extend their lead in the Central to eight games.